Hey y'all, it's your girl Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my family. And if you're a returning family member, welcome back. Y'all know I love when you guys come to visit. So y'all today, I wanted to experiment with something because I wanted me some cornbread. And I don't buy regular milk because y'all know I'm already got lactose issues. So I buy almond milk. Y'all have seen that milk time and time again in some of my other videos. <clears throat> so I was wondering if I could make my cornbread with almond milk. I know almond milk is thinner than regular cow milk. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. But we're gonna I'm going to try to experiment with this cornbread and see how it comes out. I'm actually kind of excited about this because I don't know how it's going to come out. I don't know if it's going to be a hot runny mess. I don't know if it's going to be too crumbly. I don't know. So... I'm going to try and put a few different things in here to see if I can make up for the fat content. Well, I'm just going to put one thing really, but I just want to see if I can make up for the fat content of the regular milk. Um, I don't know, y'all. We're going to see how this goes. Before we do that, if you have not um, joined my family, hit that subscribe button. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And... Make sure your post notification bell is on so you'll know anytime I post a new video or start a live stream, y'all. So I have um, just a disposable aluminum pan. I've greased it with butter in case it's like a hot mess. I don't want to have to like scrape it out my um, my regular baking dish or anything like that. I can just toss the whole pan. So this is what we're going to be using today. So I'm going to sit that out the way for now. In this bowl, I actually started doing this and I was like, man, I forgot I don't have regular milk. So I already poured two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. I'm going to try to use some sour cream. I don't know how much, but um, yeah, it's probably going to be about a tablespoon, but we'll play that by ear. And I'm going to do two thirds cup of this almond milk and I'm going to add three eggs. So... I don't know how this is gonna turn out y'all but we here we we gonna be here for the ride i'm gonna just get some of these clumps up out of my cornbread here with my whisk y'all i'm nervous and i'm excited all at the same time because i just don't know how this is gonna turn out so i am being a scientist today i don't know what measurements I'm going to be using in real life, but I'm here for it. I just, I got to try it and see, because I want me some cornbread and I don't feel like going to the store to get no milk. My dinner's almost done and I just thought at the last minute, man, I want me some cornbread. So I'm going to see. We Well, we going to see, because y'all here with me. So... I think I got most of the clumps out because I don't want no clumpy bread. Lord, that'll be one more thing against me. All right. I don't even know what to start with. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with my milk. And I said two thirds cup. But I'm going to just play this by ear because I don't want it too thin. So I'm going to pour about a third of that just to get this going. I know that's going to be dry, but. And I might have to add a little more. But we'll see once we add the eggs and the sour cream in. All right, that definitely ain't enough milk, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with the eggs. I'm going to just start with two. Just 
see if we can get this to loosen up a bit. Are y'all as nervous as I am about this? Put down in the comments. Well, at least we got it out of the whisk mostly. Well, it's loosening up a bit. It's a little tight yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my third egg. Texture's coming along, I must say. It's a little thick, but I'm here for it, y'all. We gonna see. All right. I'm just gonna use this same cup. And just grab a little bit. That's a little, probably a tablespoon and a half. Sorry about the noise, y'all. I like the texture. Texture don't be, it's not bad. I got all the lumps because I don't want to beat this to death. So that's the texture we got, y'all. Look like cake batter. So I think I'm gonna leave it right there and see what this gives, y'all. Like I said, I'm nervous, but we here. So I'm just gonna pour this in. Let me get a spoon. I'm excited about this, y'all. I can't wait. So the milk actually also is um vanilla flavor and it's sweetened. I usually put just a little bit of sugar in my cornbread because I like sweet cornbread. I know a lot of y'all do too. So I add a little bit of sweetness. But with this one, I did not because my milk is sweetened. So, here we go, y'all. This is how it looks going in the oven. So, I'm going to follow the, um, the package instructions. Well, it says, to, I think it's 400 degrees on the Jiffy Cornbread Mix box. But y'all know, we don't make nothing on 400 degrees. We make our cornbread on 350. So I'm going to put it in here for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to check on it. I'm kind of nervous, but. I don't want that little dot there. It's look like, oh, never mind. It's wet now. I'm nervous, but we here. So we don't see y'all when I come back. Y'all will see how this cornbread turned out. I'm excited. I hope y'all are too. I'll see y'all in a minute when the uh, bread comes out the oven. All right, y'all. We are back. I don't know if I'm excited or nervous or what is going on, but the cornbread did come out, y'all. It came out. It's beautifully golden. Um, I had to let it cook a couple extra minutes, which is not a problem, um, but... It did take, usually it takes no more than like 20 minutes. I think I had to let it cook for like 25 or 27 minutes, but it's okay. We here. Um, let's see 
I don't know. I let it cool for a while. So it's it's been sitting here for probably 20 minutes or so. So it should be good and cool. So I'm going to cut a piece. I'm going to just cut a couple squares here. Ooh. It seems moist. So let's see. Just go in and reinforce that cut. Let's see what we've made here, y'all. I'm excited. It's still a little crumbly because, of course, that's what cornbread is. Good and crumbly. Look at it, y'all. It's moist. I am so shocked at this. It's a little crumbly, but that's what Jiffy cornbread is. So I just want to taste it and see how it came out. I can't believe it came out this well so far. All right. And I put some butter on top, y'all, because you know us country folks, we like um we like butter on our cornbread. But this thing is, first of all, it smells delicious. Okay, it smells absolutely delicious. I got folks texting me and things in my video. It's all right, y'all. So here we go. I'm gonna take this bite. Mmm. Okay. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. A little bit crispy on the top, not a whole lot. But very moist, y'all. Look at this. It's a little crumbly, but... It's very, very moist, y'all. I can't believe it. And I used vanilla almond milk. But I don't get a whole lot of the almondy flavor, which is great. Because I thought it was going to be too much of an almond flavor. But it's, it doesn't have it at all, y'all. So... I'm happy about this. My experiment went great. That's good. I want y'all to try this. I'm going to finish my piece right here. So I'm going to get out y'all hair. But before I do, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn your post notification bell to all. Make sure you share my video out and leave me a comment. Thumbs up my video. And I will see you guys on Vlogmas Day. I think this is Vlogmas Day 9, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, if it's not, whatever day it is, happy Vlogmas. I will see y'all tomorrow in my Vlogmas video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.